What's up y'all, Alvin here, and today we're talking about the Gerber line driver. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> Alvin here, all water guys, catch me please. Yeah. All right, so let's get the disclaimers out of the way first. I am a Gerber ambassador. They do send me these products for free. They don't ask me to make these videos and they certainly don't tell me what to say. These are my own thoughts, feelings, and opinions. <laughs> All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get into it. Make sure you watch to the end too because I'm gonna show you how you can save a little money on any of this Gerber stuff. So Gerber's known for multi-tools and this is a multi-tool for fishing. It's a double-ended tool and there's several nice tools on either side of the line driver. So let's start with the most obvious end, the cutting end, the scissors. They are serrated, which is nice, and they do cut braid. That was a question I got when I made my last video when I talked about the freehander. I'll link that up here. Uh, the freehander does cut braid as well, but the serrated edges on the line driver, I think make it a little bit easier. So there's several things to know about this end of the tool. One is obviously the serrated cutters, but the next is the fact that there's a locking device. And initially I didn't understand why it didn't lock all the way shut. But what I realized is that having that partially open, you can use the clip that is on this end of the line driver stick that in a pocket, your vest, your waders, a belt or whatever. And if you wanna cut your line, you just take the line, boom, pull it through the open jaws, it slices it and you never have to take the tool out. That's pretty handy. <laughs> Didn't understand initially, but it's amazing what you can learn on the internet. <laughs> All right, so moving along, there's a couple more tools on this end of the device. Uh, one is a split shot crimper. So the end of the scissors has a uh, flat spot that you can smash down split shot with. Pretty nice. Another thing that uh, you'll notice, and I didn't really use it much initially because I hadn't used devices like this very often, but there's actually a hook threader. <laughs> and the hook threader works great. And as my eyes get older, I appreciate it more and more. So whether you have uh, old eyes or maybe your fingers aren't as nimble as you would like, the hook threader is great. You just close it with the hook in the threader. There's a little funnel. You thread the line through and you pull the hook out and it's threaded. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's flip the tool around. On the other side, you'll notice the first thing is the split ring and the tether. So I use this and I use a, also use a uh, Gerber Defender with the belt clip on it and I keep this hanging by my side. So on the Defender, I can pull it out and use it, you know, put it back. I don't have to worry, it's always hanging at my side. And uh, the other thing is nice is it actually spins in the clip. So it's not just locked in one position. All right, maybe my favorite feature on this end is the spike. I'm always having to either clear out paint, head cement, old monofilament in hooks, and the spike is great for doing that. It's always handy, hanging right by my side. Now, this is actually a hook vise. So what you do with this guy is you grab your hook with that, and it hangs on to it for you for multiple different purposes. So you're digging through your box and you find the fly or the lure you want and you gotta hang on to it while you close the box up and put it back wherever it belongs. The hook vise will hold that fly. You won't have to worry about dropping your fly, dropping your lure. The other thing is when you go to tie your fly on, your fly, your lure, your hook, whatever, the hook vise actually spins. So you, once again, you don't have to hold the hook. You hold on to the line, you spin it, and you get your knot tied. Then <laughs> you can hold the hook vise to pull that knot tight. So multi-purpose once again. Okay, so like I said, a multi-tool, multiple different tools on one device. I'm finding myself using it more and more. One pro tip is you definitely want to attach it to some type of tether, whether you're using it just clipped in a pocket or not, you wanna have it attached to your person. I know somebody who dropped one 
and was not able to retrieve it from the bottom of the river. <laughs> and that was a sad day. <laughs> All right, so I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. And because you watched it to the end, I've got a 20% off code that you can use on the Gerber website for everything except for the custom products. And the code is Alvin20, lowercase, uppercase, whatever, Alvin20. Use that code on the GerberGear.com website and you will save 20% off of your next purchase. All right, so thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hopefully you have subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, please do that. And I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.